Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Educare. Today I have brought another session which is on automating Windows Form GUI application. This I will be automating using PyWin Auto module. So if you see here, I have a application. This is demo GUI application. This is an exe file. This is actually made with Tikinter project, and it has been converted to .exe file. So .py to .exe file. If you want to know how to convert a Python file to .exe file, a standalone .exe file which can be ran in any computer which does which don't have Python interpreter installed. If you want to know that the video for that video link for that is flashing on my screen. You can click in, uh, click it, and you can navigate to the video and learn about it. For now, I will be showing you how to automate this particular uh, form by filling each entries and then clicking the OK button. This is basically a Tikinter project, and this this will be a little different from what normal Windows Form applications are available. So first, we need to import the module that is Pywin Auto. And then time. So time is nothing but for causing some delay. And for Pywin Auto, you need to install, you need to import this. This is not, uh, this is not an inbuilt uh, package. So you need to install it using command prompt. That is pip3 install Pywin Auto. So since I've installed, I will not click enter. Next, from Pywin Auto dot application. application okay next what I need to do is like I need to start this exe file right so I need to start this exe file so I have kept both my dot uh, py file and dot exe file in the same folder so let me start the file app is equal to application start dot start using command line equal to line So this is it will start the application. So since it will take some time to start, so time dot I will put a delay for two seconds. Now once the once the application is started, so I need to connect my dot py uh, script to that particular uh, login window. So app equal to application dot connect title equal to So one, it will start the application. So it will take some time. So it is taking some time to uh, log in. So now once it is logged in, I need to connect my py file to this particular window. Okay. Next. Once it is connected, I will be starting app dot. This particular app dot login window. So log in. So here I have space. But here you don't have to put space otherwise it will throw an error so app.login that particular page then i will print the control identifiers whatever app, uh, whatever applicable or available in this particular window form to write down my scripts that is print control identifiers so let me run the script and understand the Control identifiers or objects because with the help of that only we are going to uh, write the code. Oh, sorry. So here if you see like 
I have all the widgets opened. So I have. So here I have. I don't have it name. So here I have the class name with button, and the object with TK child. Okay. So there is only one button, so we can directly uh, use that button. But we have uh, multiple TK childs. So since uh, this is with uh, tick enter widget, right? It's a little bit different. Normally for a uh, normal Windows form, it directly we will have the name for that particular field. But here instead of name, we have the uh, class name directly. So let me show you how it works. So this is my login window so we have a button here so we have one button so we don't need to worry so this directly we can use for button but we have statics these are static and these are all tk childs so this is this will be static 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay but in case for uh, tk child will be going from 7 from start so this particular enter window is 0 and we'll start from 7 here this is tk child 7 we have 6 5 4 3 2 so we have 7 we need to take the highest one at the top so it will be in a reverse order so 7 6 5 4 3 2 and static will be like if you see statics 0 1 2 3 4 5 so like that the statics will be there so we don't need, don't need to worry about the statics so we should also only concentrate on the tk child part okay so this is tk child 7 so what i need to do is like First, I need to click here and to click input here, and then I need to type the name. So let me start writing the code. So app dot that particular login window login dot tk child seven dot click underscore input. So one sec once you do this click input so it will click in the particular field and the next step what i need to do is like app dot login dot tk child sorry app dot login you tk child 7 edit dot type keys Type keys. What I need to type key? Say first name. Okay. Now similar way, I need to go for the each names. This is for six. This is for five. This is for four, three, two, seven. So six. I will just more edit it now, and then later, and I will quit taking care of the type case thing. Five, four, three, two. Okay. So next, what I have, I have the last name here. So say last name is something. Last. Then I have email ID. So xxx at the rate email.com. Then next I have uh, VPN. So VPN also something say like xxx VPN at the rate email.com. Then next I have uh, username. So say username something x y z then password okay and at the end what i need to do is like i need to click the button so app dot so app dot login dot button dot click underscore input okay 
so let me run the code so before that I need to disclose this Last name, so email from VPN, XYZ, and password. Okay, okay. If you see, it clicked okay. So, this is how uh, we can automate our Windows Phone application using PyWin Auto Module. Guys, if you like my video, please press like button. And for more videos, please do subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.